I think it's, it's a matter of negligence that uh, is so uh, overwhelming. In It's not just industry that's pushing new chemicals. We have in this country legislation from 1976 in regard to chemicals control. 1976, can you remember who was the president in 1976? It's so long ago. And, and it, Congress has done nothing. And according to that um, ancient law, industry is virtually free to market whatever they want. Pesticides, for example, don't really need to get tested if they can damage brain development in, in, uh, in animals. And therefore, we know today that Americans are exposed to pesticides. We can measure the residues in urine samples. The, they are exposed to levels that we know for sure can damage brain development uh, in a fetus if a pregnant woman is exposed to those levels. We know this is happening. And still, there's no proper control of um, the uh, residues in food because you always get the results after the fact. And uh, the pesticides that are being marketed are definitely not safe uh, for uh, human brains because, I mean, this was never tested. We have a situation with mercury. Uh, I see regularly hair mercury concentration uh, results or blood mercury concentrations. And I see frequently results that are eight or 10 times higher than the exposure limit that the US EPA considers safe. And people have no idea. This happens among pregnant women. They're passing on the, the uh, chemicals to the fetus. The chemicals get into the uh, developing brain and uh, just with lead, just, just like with lead, they can damage uh, brain development and that will last for a lifetime. So I think that, yes, it's getting more complicated, uh, but Congress is, uh, has been discussing for several years now how to modernize chemicals legislation. We still don't know where this is going to end up. It looks like it's not going to be very ambitious and that we are going to continue to have problems in the future. But I would say in regard to infrastructure, yes, there's a, there's a big uh, deficit there, but it's also true in regard to the uh, legislation.